The View Application Instance, also known as the View App, is what controls a View Application. It registers any globals used by the app or its components. A View App starts its life in the main.js file, where we set up and configure the instance. View will look inside the component's script block for the config object, which it will use as the configuration. Then, it mounts that component to an element in the DOM. In this case, that's an element with an ID of app. If we switch over to the index file in the build folder, we can see the div just above the closing body tag. Any content within this element is controlled by view. As a side note, the mount function takes any valid query selector. So, we can mount it to a different element if we want to. In some projects, you may see the function chain being split up. This is often done when a project uses plugins like UX or the router to make it more readable. We'll leave our example the way it is until we cover plugins. As mentioned earlier, the View app configures a component with the config object. This is simply an object that holds a component's data, methods, computed properties, and so on. When we created our first app, we made a config object with some dynamic data. Notice that we're exporting the object in the example. That's because it needs to be imported into the main.js script to be passed to the createApp method. The app.view file, also known as the root app component, is typically only used to load other components in our app. For now though, we'll use it to explain the fundamental concepts of view, and then dive deeper into components themselves. In the next video, we'll learn how to store data in view, and how to bind it to the template. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.